In this video, we're going to be checking out the best current Fallout action figures available right now, what's to come in the future, and of course doing some Fallout toy photography. Did you know that a long time ago, Fallout 112 scale action figures existed and came out? Like, legit Fallout action figures in this scale. Yeah, it actually happened. Crawl out through the Fallout, baby. I bet you, you will never guess who made these figures. Funko. Yes, Funko, no. Not Funko like that. Well, I guess yes. <laughs> yeah, Funko actually made these 112 scale action figures. And I'm gonna be frank. These figures kind of totally suck. Hello, darkness, my old friend. But they're the only Fallout figures that exist like this that I know of. So I love them anyway. <laughs> In about, I think, 2015, 2016, Funko released a few action figures, these two, so we've got the Lone Wanderer, the Vault Dweller, and then we have the T-45 Power Armor. At first glance, they do look pretty good. There's some issues about them, that's, that's uh, we'll, we'll get into that. They also put out a couple of Skyrim figures too, just like the main like Dragonborn guy, and I think there's a Daedric Armor one. I mean, they're pretty cool for what they are. I mean, just look at them, they don't look so bad. And you know what, they're Fallout figures, and we don't really have any others like this. Everyone's favorite companion, dog meat. <laughs> Actually, this is not a Funko figure. This is just one of those Schleich German Shepherd figures. And I added this armor onto it from an old loot box or loot crate. Remember loot crate? Yeah, they came with that and it fit perfectly on here. So I had my own special perfect little dog meat and that was fantastic. Both these figures and all the Fallout stuff I talk about, I will have linked in the description of the video. So head down there if you want to check out and see if you can pick some of this stuff up. So with the new amazing Fallout TV show, I thought we could show some love to these figures, do some toy photography with them, talk about some other Fallout figures that we do have options for, other ones that exist, some other ones that are coming out, some other ones we totally missed out on, and then I'm also going to talk about some other ones that I think might be coming out and why I think a specific brand is going to be coming out with Fallout figures. So the Lone Wanderer, this is definitely a Fallout 3 inspired figure. You've got the Vault 101 on the back of his uh, vault jumpsuit. You can just kind of tell with the way the armor looks, it's definitely very Fallout 3 inspired. Yeah, it's a Vault Dweller figure, but I really don't want to talk too much crap about this figure because I really do think it's cool that it exists. And Funko, you know what, you kind of did a good job. I commend you for what you did. So really my only major problem is just the articulation. You can't really get a whole lot of posing done with this guy. That's the most you're gonna get with your elbow right there. And really, if you're gonna try and put him in a pose, you're gonna, you're gonna have a little bit of trouble and you're just gonna have to do your best. He comes with a little hunting rifle and if you can tell I've got a little piece of tape on here from a long time ago and the reason I did that is because he would never be able to hold it correctly. So the main way to hold him is just by kind of sticking it in his hand like that. That's the only thing you can really do with it and it would always fall out. Ha! It would always fall out. Fall out baby! Of his hand. <laughs> if you're gonna try and hold it where he can pull the trigger, you're not really gonna be able to do that very well. So you can't really put this in a shooting pose. Uh, I'm already getting frustrated here. If you're gonna want to try to get him in like a shooting pose with the rifle, that's probably the best you're gonna get. And to be honest, that doesn't look too bad. That doesn't look awful. Maybe he's using vats and that's why it's gonna be so easy for him. <laughs> So next we've got the power armor and we've got a very slender looking T-45 power armor and that's kind of more of the reason why you can tell this is like a Fallout 3 one because they definitely looked a lot more slender as opposed to in Fallout 4 than being much bigger. Honestly, I really like the way the paint looks on him. It's very shiny and still looks a little weathered. I think the paint is actually very good on this and, and he's kind of permanently in a slouching kind of pose. Does it look like it to me or does it just always look like he's kind of slouching with bad posture? Is it just me or I don't know? <laughs> ah, yes, it was 2015 when these came out. There we go. All right. He came with a very iconic laser rifle and this is a really cool looking prop. Like it looks great. It's so cool to have, but this is something you're gonna have trouble holding this even worse than the other guy with the hunting rifle. You can kind of get it in his hand. Let's, let's give it a shot. Okay, that's not that bad. That's not that bad at all. I was actually able to get him in there pretty easily. Okay. Kind of looks like he's playing the guitar, but it's not bad. 
All right, these guys are definitely warming up to me a little bit. I admit, come on. All right, well, as not ideal as these guys are, you know what, it's the best we've got, so you gotta love them. And I'm definitely gonna do some toy photos with these guys at the end of the video, and I got some great ideas. I cannot wait to do it, actually. Well, there certainly is no shortage of Fallout merchandise around. It's on Amazon, the Bethesda store, but as far as articulated action figures go, man, it's very scarce. But if you're interested in something bigger and more expensive, there's plenty of those, too. This big boy right here, actually it's a big girl, is the 3-0 T60 power armor figure and Oh man, this is one of my prized possessions and boy did I pay way too much money for it. It is an absolutely awesome, awesome 1-6 scale figure and not only does it look incredible, I mean just look at this thing. It's got a lot of really cool things about it, uh, but man, it comes with a lot of cool stuff. Like we've got the assault rifle and it comes with a couple of different clips for the assault rifle as well. And it also just comes with a fusion core, so that's kind of cool. And it comes with our vault dweller's head, and she looks great. Up top here, the light in the eyes actually light up, but I haven't changed the batteries in a while, so it doesn't light up at the moment, but I promise it does light up with this little button here. <laughs> So one of the big and cool features about this figure is you can take off just about every part of the armor like this and then you're left with just a power armor chassis with no pieces on it just like in the game and that's just so incredibly cool. Like what a cool feature. There's so much to this figure. Look close enough you can actually see her vault suit underneath which is so cool that like she's actually wearing it and look you can even see her shoes over here underneath like inside the foot there that's so cool the cool thing too is that the hands are actually articulated so you can move her hands around however you want so if you've got an extra couple hundred bucks burning a hole in your pocket i definitely recommend one of these guys i mean they've done just about all of them they've done the x01 the nuka ones all of them even the power armor frame if you want to spend even more money but really 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 cool figures so who the heck is gonna bless us with new Fallout figures now? Is it gonna happen? I mean, McFarlane just put out some nice new statues for the TV show, which look really great. To be honest, I totally thought they were gonna do figures, but no. Not right now, they're just the statues, but hey, you never know, clearly they've got the license, maybe they'll make some articulated figures soon, that would be awesome. But who the heck else could give us some good Fallout figures? What would you want? Who would you want to make us some figures? Mezco or Mafex? Figu Arts? I, I mean, I don't know. Like back in 2019, 1000 Toys teased us at this T60 figure at like SDCC or something, and man, that was amazing. Where's that? Is that not coming? Who the heck knows? I mean, with the same quality as the Master Chief stuff, oh my gosh, that'd be amazing. But the one brand that I think might do it is I think Figma is going to do it. I think Good Smile is going to make a Figma, at least Vault Dweller, maybe Lucy, something. They do a lot of random stuff. Like, they've done some video game figures, and they did like the cyberpunk figures, they've done some other ones, and they did make the Doom Slayer figure, which is a video game property, and it's also Bethesda. And I'm just now remembering they literally made a Vault Boy Nendoroid. Like, this just has to happen. All signs are pointing to Figma. I don't know, maybe they're brewing up some Fallout stuff, because that would be so freaking cool. That's my guess, is Figma is gonna give us maybe one or two Fallout figures. Come on, uh, please. All right, so I'm gonna head to one of my favorite abandoned places, which I think will be perfect for some Fallout photos. Yeah, let's get some really great shots. Let's go. Okay, so I'm at this really cool abandoned place that I love going. This place is huge and really cool. But if you want to see more of stuff and toy photos at this place, I did a whole video on this place, actually. I'll have that linked in the description and right here as well. But I've got a shop that I'm going to set up right down here. And let me show you really quick what I made. Check it out. I went and I made these little signs. These little Nuka-Cola signs that I can hang up somewhere. That are so cool. I actually made this one a while ago. But I made a whole video on how to make signs like this. They're so easy to make. Um, so definitely check that out if you want to do this, something like this. So, okay, I'm going to go and set up this shot right now. Okay, so check it out. The Lone Wanderer has stumbled upon a dead body, you know, skeleton, hundreds of year old, that died in bliss drinking Nuka-Cola, surrounded by Nuka-Cola stuff. <laughs> um, and that's really it. I just, I put up a couple of lights, not that they were super needed because I've got so much soft lighting everywhere right now. 
but I put them up just to get some cool, a little bit of maybe rim lighting on the side of the vault dweller over here. And here we are in camera. It's kind of just a funny shot and it's very simple. I just put some stuff up and that's all. My settings are on screen. There's nothing really crazy, but I just used those settings because it worked with the lighting and the way the shot set up. I didn't have to do any type of moving particles, anything like that. So it's very, very simple. All right, it's just about ready to take the shot. So I'm just gonna go and do it. Okay, next shot is also pretty simple. I've just got my power armor guy with my fallout shelter sign behind him. A couple of lights back there. And I've got myself set up right here. Got my settings at 640 shutter speed and everything else is about the same. And I'm just gonna light a firework and that's all. It's just gonna be a cool guy walking away from an explosion. So yeah, let's just go and take this shot too. Fallout is just one of my all-time favorite franchises, and honestly, just the fact that we have these few figures here is really great, and I'm just glad we do, but I'm hoping and praying we get some new ones soon. Please, please, let me know what you think with which figures we should get, which brands should make the figures. I would definitely love to know what you're thinking. If you did enjoy the video, please consider liking it and subscribing to the channel, and of course, as always, the photos will be posted on Instagram at sir.dork. And again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.